Hi guys, this is Silas here and welcome in my another art journal layout about autumn dreams. Uh, so first I glue down some tissue paper just to give my project nice texture and then I applied two layers of gesso. Uh, to color my background I will be using gelatos today. Uh, I'm using two blues and violet for my sky and green and yellow for my grass. Uh, the names of shades will be on description below the video and I also will be using a little bit of uh, distress inks uh, uh, Shade is vintage photo uh, to darken up my grass and after this I sealed everything down with two coats of gel medium I also think it would be nice if I talk a little bit about inspiration for my art journal projects Sometimes I have specific plan and I know what exactly I want to create and but today was a little bit different. I know that I wanted to create another like autumn feel layout with kites and I have nice stamp set of leaves which I love and I want to use those. Uh, also a few weeks ago I read this quote uh, and I believe I found it on Pinterest and I really like it. It is very motivational and positive and I believe that everybody sometimes needs motivation. So I know that I want to include this on my next art journal layout. So next step is to create my kite. Uh, I just draw some basic uh, kite shapes uh, on some pattern paper and then cut it out with uh, my scissors. I didn't measure anything exactly. I just want some sh kite shapes. Then I uh, use my Distress Inks, uh, shade is Vintage Photo and uh, I just darken up the edges of my kites just to get rid of the white. I also put a layer of gel medium on top of my kites because later I wanted to use my Faber Castell bit artist pens for shadings and I need non-absorbent surface for using those. I'm just using a little bit of my blue marker and then I smudged it with my wet fingers. It helps uh, to blend my objects with background. mixing some acrylic color mostly brown and yellow shades but also I use a little bit of green orange and red color uh, names will be on description below the video I am sorry that I was working off the camera I hadn't noticed that later I will be zooming out a little bit more so you will be see more basically I am just using those acrylic colors for my stamping I mix some color with water, uh, consistency has to be not too thick and I use it for my stamping of leaves.
Now I am adding some red flowers. I'm also adding some red splashes. Now I'm using my favorite gold glitter glue and making some dots. As you probably have noticed, I love uh, gold color and metallic colors. So I'm using it again here. <laughs> stamp my quote I'm using distress ink vintage photo I don't want to use black I thought that brown will be better but it was mistake because distress ink is not permanent and it doesn't didn't want to dry properly so later on I wipe the quote with wet baby wipe and stamp it again with uh, black archival ink which is permanent Now I'm using my gold gel pen and I am following my uh, leaf stamps and making it more shiny and metallic as I love. Then I used some cotton strand, red and brown, and I glued them down with uh, tape glue as a tail for my kite. Now I am shading uh, also my kites with a uh, red and brown pit artist pen and then I will be decorating them more with my uh, black markers and also uh, gold glitter, glitter glue.
now I am just darking uh, better my uh, stamp with my black marker because some of the uh, stamps wasn't perfect so I just need to fix it Finally I am adding a little bit more texture for my background using modeling paste and dot stencil I made. Also as you can see I cut out one little pink rhombus and added it inside my big pink kite so it won't be so blank and this layout is finished. As always in the end of the video you can see some uh, close-up photos. On those you can see that later on I can help myself and I decorated more my kites with a gold gel pen and I also added some gold stickers. Thank you very much for your attention, hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me thumbs up and also subscribe so you won't miss my next Arjuna video. And I would also love to hear your comments and thoughts or suggestions. You can also follow me on Instagram to see what project I am currently working on. Thank you and see you next time, bye!